Where was your mindset and mentality at that Oh, I just moment? put everybody in a big group text. I tell them I love them, you know, just in case. For most rappers, having really expensive and flashy cars is almost as important as dropping hits. And who can blame them? They have the funds, so they buy the best and most luxurious items around, like most would. But as great as that sounds, having this luxury doesn't always end well. Their tendency to live on the edge results in many risks with their purchases. Fast luxury cars mixed with reckless behavior can result in getting completely wrecked. Many rappers have been victim to destroying their cars, and sometimes narrowly escaping death. In today's video, we'll take a look at some of these rappers who crashed their expensive cars, taking them from fine pieces of art to hunks of scrap metal. Before we dive into this list, make sure to leave a like on this video. Also, if you'd like to join this month's giveaway of a brand new iPhone 12, then all you have to do is subscribe to the channel and watch this video until the end to find and comment the hidden message. Good luck! Number 8. NBA Youngboy For most people, being young comes with a lot of reckless behavior. And it was no different for the rapper NBA Youngboy. As a young man making it big in the industry, he got what most celebrities get as the official rite of passage for being famous and rich, super expensive cars. In his case, it was an incredible Lamborghini Spider, and car lovers around the world wouldn't mind even five minutes behind the wheel of this car. Except in this case, he did get it, but not with his money. This didn't stop him from wrecking it completely in 2017. You would expect that after turning the beautiful car into a scrap of metal, he would wait for the police and file a report about it. Instead, he did the most irresponsible thing yet. NBA Youngboy bolted after wrecking the car and left it on the streets until someone else called the police to check it out. Now, we're wondering, how did this young rapper get such an expensive car? Turns out that he had gotten it the day before from a rental company, but that's not where the twist ends. The person who signed the contract for this luxury car was actually not NBA Youngboy, but his manager, and his contract stated that no one would be able to drive the Lamborghini Spider. So the rapper had no right to actually take that car out for a spin. The car rental company refused to take this lying low, as they came for damages, filing a lawsuit against him to get as much money needed to replace the car. Reports revealed that it was as much as $350,000. Well, he shouldn't have driven the car in the first place, and then run away like a coward. Safe to say that his bank account was also wrecked in this accident. Number 7. Lil Yachty Everyone was shocked when they saw Lil Yachty share pictures of his completely battered red 2020 Ferrari 488 on his social media page. Although he's still a bit young in the game, he's gotten quite a lot of fame and money from the industry, at least enough to splurge thousands of dollars on a Ferrari. Despite being a talented rapper, we can say his skills behind the wheels require a lot of brushing up. Lil Yachty is no stranger to breaking laws, and in June 2020, he went head-to-head -head against nature and what could have possibly taken his life. The rapper was driving out in Atlanta and got caught up in a massive rainstorm in the area. This made the roads become filled with water, and you know what happens on wet floors. Heck, we can't even walk on them. But Lil Yachty was in his expensive car that he had purchased just a few days before, with the roads all around him soaking wet, and in a split second the Ferrari 488 hydroplaned hit a median wall, and then slid more than 500 feet across seven lanes of traffic before finally hitting a road barrier. You can tell that it was a really brutal accident, but surprisingly, Lil Yachty walked out with minor injuries on his arm. Credit to the safety features on the car, guess they were totally worth the amount spent. Still, losing the car that was worth more than $400,000 is certainly not something you would love to hear. But he did survive a near-death experience and awful car crash, so there's that. Number 6. Travis Scott Another rapper making waves in the rap industry is Travis Scott, even scoring cool partnership deals with big brands. But we're not talking about that today. His car crash story is a little different from most ones you've heard about from other rappers because he wasn't even driving on a highway or major road when he crashed his expensive Lamborghini. He did a really bad job of getting his car out of a parking spot as he backed his $200,000 car into another one parked in its regular spot. If only he had paid more attention to the valet trying to stop him, maybe he wouldn't have damaged those cars. Thankfully, it wasn't a serious crash, but he did the most bizarre thing after assessing the damages. True, it was basically a love tap and not a complete wreck, but Travis Scott pulled an NBA young boy and bolted out of the scene without calling any insurance company. Yeah, really mature. Number 5. Lil Baby If you were to ask millions of fans if Lil Baby is a great rapper, the obvious answer would be a loud yes. While there is little to no argument about that, we can't say the same for his driving skills. There are like a million and one stories of Lil Baby driving recklessly and damaging car after car, and not good stories to tell, especially with their degree of severity. However, the one that really takes the cake is the car crash that made it to a music video. Yup, Lil Baby was making a music video where he and his crew were driving two Dodge Chargers, the very expensive kind. But it wasn't long into the clip when one of the cars crashed into the other and freaked out everyone on set. Those expensive cars didn't look pretty after this crash, not surprising in the least. 
Number 4. Post Malone Here's a unique rapper that has dropped hit after hit in the rap industry. Apart from his talent that sets him apart in the music world, Post Malone is also genuinely into cars. This explains why he has such a large collection of valuable cars, which is estimated is worth as much as $4 million. Now, you're wondering, how could it be worth this much? Well, we should mention that he has really nice vintage cars in his collection. It's not just about the pricey modern stuff, but he goes all out for those vintage wheels that would make any car lover jealous. So, which car died a painful death? It was a beautiful Rolls-Royce Wraith, worth a whopping $350,000. Without saying it, you know this car was a really valuable and special one, with a really luxurious outlook until it got wrecked. This is one of the rare moments where a rapper's car crash is through no fault of theirs. Post Malone and his friends were driving around the Fernando Valley when a Kia slammed into them violently. While the rapper wasn't injured since he was on the passenger side, we can't say the same for his precious car. The force of the impact wrecked most of the left side of the car, and you would think that it's definitely a drunk person that did that. Except it wasn't. Everyone driving at that point was sober, and it was just one of those random accidents that send beautiful vehicles to car heaven. Anyone else would have been so upset about losing such an expensive car, but not Post Malone. He got himself another Rolls Royce as a replacement, this time a $400,000 Phantom. All's well that ends well, we guess. Number 3. Offset Back in 2018, Offset wrecked his Dodge Challenger in a really terrible accident that almost took his life. This Migos group member is not at the top of the list when it comes to being the best judge of what's great for his physical and mental health. In this case, it was completely on him as the rapper was overspeeding. Overspeeding during the day is bad enough, but doing it at night where there's even less visibility? That's just crazy. But then, Offset and Crazy are not so mutually exclusive after all. While pushing his car really hard, Offset saw a pedestrian moving across the street right in front of him. It was either him or an innocent person, and he chose to swerve really hard to avoid hitting the pedestrian. Unfortunately, this was in such a violent way that he became trapped inside. The good news is that a man named Jamar was walking to work at that time and rushed in to help get Offset out of the vehicle. It really could have been worse if he hadn't gotten help at that moment, especially when he saw the full damage on the steaming hulk of his car. Offset must have realized this too, because he rewarded Jamar with a new Nissan Altima for saving his life. Even critics had nothing bad to say about this. Number 2. Kanye West Just after his studio session sometime in 2002 with Beanie Siegel, Ludacris, DJ Who Kid, and P.D. Kroc in Los Angeles, Kanye West got into a severe car crash that left him unable to rap for months. His car had flipped several times, leaving him with a broken jaw that had to be wired shut for six months. It was during this time that his rap career was meant to start its steady rise to the top, and it seemed like this would not happen. As we would have it, Yeezy was able to turn his situation around with his smash hit single, Through the Wire, inspired by the car crash. This song stayed on the Billboard Top 100 charts for 15 consecutive weeks, and the video that the rapper filmed got the best video of the year at the Source Hip Hop Awards in 2004. It was this car crash that put Kanye on his path to stardom, despite losing his really expensive ride. Number 1. Rick Ross Just a few days after his 37th birthday, Rick Ross got caught up in an attempted assassination that had his silver Rolls Royce veering off the road and slamming into an apartment building while he was trying to dodge flying bullets. His luxury ride took a huge hit, but Rick Ross suffered this with only a few injuries. Later, the police revealed that the incident was linked to a gang that wanted to kill the Maybach music boss for stealing their lyrics without compensating them. And that brings us to the end of today's list. Which of these car crashes got your attention the most? Let us know your thoughts in the comments section down below. Also, don't forget to leave a like on this video if you're a fan of the rap industry. And if you're new to this channel, make sure to hit that subscribe button for all future content. Thanks for watching. Until next time.